One of the most frequent questions I've been getting asked lately is how to get the 100% achievement in Grounded. That's where you get the 100% score on your report card. So what we're going to be doing today in this video is going through all the requirements that you're going to need to meet in order to get that 100% achievement. I was just able to do it myself right before I started recording this. So I'll show you at the end, the end screen that you should be seeing. So the first requirement you're going to need to have is to get all of the mutations unlocked except for Reliable Friend. Now, there's a caveat to this because Reliable Friend is not supposed to be required, but as you'll see here, I do have it unlocked. Now, what ended up happening was I got everything else done, went to the final sequence, started it up. My report card said I needed to unlock more achievements. I went in then, loaded in one of my kids' accounts, and ended up reviving that, that account five times, got Reliable Friend unlocked, and lo and behold, it gave me the 100%. According to the developers right now, you are not supposed to have to get Reliable Friend. So if you end up having a bug where you're at 99% and it says unlock more achievements, it is most likely going to be a reliable friend. So my best recommendation for you, if you're playing by yourself, would be to go to my Discord, the Grounded Discord. There's links from there's a link for mine down in the description below. Or go over to Reddit and just find someone who will load in with you and let you revive them five times. It takes less than a minute and it's super easy. So that if that's holding you up, that's the only thing holding you up. Make sure you make sure you do that. Now, one other thing I want to mention about the mutations you'll see here: you do not have to have all the phases unlocked. You only have to have phase one for any of them unlocked in order for this to count. So basically make sure you have all 33 mutations unlocked. You're not supposed to have a reliable friend. Hopefully you don't have that issue. And hopefully if you do end up having that issue that it'll get, get it resolved or you can find someone to load in with you. The second requirement is you're gonna need to get all of the scabbies in the game. So by default, you start out with scab class, scabby classic, scabby knight, high contrast and scabby LCD. You're, so there's four to start with. You're gonna have to find 48 others that are gonna be scattered around the world all over the map. Make sure you get that scab scanner early on so you can find them if you're having trouble. And you'll notice here that I do have 48 others unlocked. I'm not going to sit here and count them just for the sake of time. But basically, there are a total of 52 scabbies you have to have on, you have to find. Doesn't matter which ones you're using. Just make sure you find all of them, and that'll get that part of the requirements checked off the list. Third is going to be the data tab. You're going to have to have the data tab 100% complete. So you're going to have to go to, you look here at the creature cards. You're going to notice there are eight neutral, 43 angry, and eight harmless. So you're going to make sure you have to have all of this complete by peeping the creatures. Next up is going to be the Wendell tab. You're going to have six time at dominance, 10 spacer developments, eight hedge, 10 pond, five haze, eight black anthill, eight undershed, 10 miscellaneous. I have seen issues along the lines with a reliable friend of people that had pre 1.0 saves. Sometimes these data files are missing. The developers are aware of that. So if that's the case, hopefully they will have that patched by the time you're watching this or perhaps in the future. Next up on the Amina tab, you're going to notice here we have a total of, what is that, 14 notes. And then down here is the Amina data disk, which you're actually going to get from defeating the director. So you do actually have to be the director to get this Amina data disk. Next up is going to be the Burgle, the Burgle tab. So you have five transcription units, six tech chips, which obviously are the optional auxiliary chips, and then the four super chips, which are needed to progress through the game anyway. Down here on stuff, you're going to notice we have the products, the recipe notes, the keys, and the boss notes. And last but not least can be the places. A couple of things to note on the places. If you're having trouble unlocking a place, like you know what it is and it's not unlocking, there's a couple of things you can do. One, you can just walk past it a bunch of times. If that doesn't work, you can look at it through your peeper and then walk over it. If that doesn't work, then the, then basically I would just recommend like leaving and coming back. There are a couple that are a little weird. As an example, the pond dome here, which is the fifth one on the pond tab. I swam around this dome. I touched the top of it. I went inside. Nothing worked. Finally, one of my viewers told me, go inside up inside the dome where the computer is, look straight up to, in the sky, and that magically unlocked it. I know on a previous save, what I had to do was swim around it a couple times and then touch the top of it on the outside. So there are some that have quirks. If you end up having one that's just not unlocking for you, I'd recommend just going online and looking up to see if there's any tips. I don't know of any of the other ones that didn't unlock. I know there's some weird ones like the baseball bat that's up by the shed. I use sometimes I have to walk up and down that like three or four times. But like I said, just make sure you either walk around it, leave and come back or peep it and then walk over to it. And then that should help you unlock them. Next up is going to be back to this creature card. So as you'll see, this is part of the previous requirement, which was having all the data tab complete. You do have to pre peep all the creatures. So eight neutral, 43 angry and eight harmless. You will notice here that I do not have all the gold cards. The gold cards are not required to get the 100 percent achievement right now. They are tied to a mutation, but right now I'm not sure if that's bugged or how it's working. So the one mutation that is relying upon this is going to be Trapper Peeper. So the Trapper Peeper requirements are 20, 40, and then 59 gold cards. As you can see, I have Phase 3 unlocked, but I do not have all the gold cards unlocked. So clearly it's either double counting some of these, or I'm not sure. But so basically you'll have to get at least 20 of the gold cards to get the first tier of Trapper Peeper unlocked. But the rest of them you don't need. That's just going to be up to you if you want to end up getting them and put more time into it. But totally not required. Just make sure you peep all the creatures. 
The one that you're gonna probably have trouble peeping is, or you might not be able to peep unless you do the one special thing is gonna be the infected wolf spider, which is somewhere down here. So the infected wolf spider is right here. The infected wolf spider only shows up if you plug the haze. So if you're not wanting to plug the haze up, what I would recommend doing is complete everything else in the game right before you're finished. Go down and right before you go activate the final sequence, run over, plug the haze, peep the infectable spider, and you'll be able to get that part of the requirements unlocked. Next up, we're going to go to the field station down here because there's a couple requirements that are going to require you to go to the field station to completely unlock. First up is going to be the milk molars. So when I go over here to the milk molar tab, you're going to to the milk molar, the ASL here, you're going to notice that I have two milk molars left over, but I have purchased all of the rest of the regular and the mega things here so there are exactly enough mega milk molars to purchase all five levels of each of these there are two extra milk molars that are able to be collected to unlock all these you do have to have all of them if you do not have the two extra you will not be able to get the 100 percent requirement so make sure you get all the milk molars and then come over to a field station and unlock all the unlocks here next up is going to be the brain power requirement you have to have max level brain power as part of the 100%. So if you go down here, you're going to notice there are 15 levels of brain power. You get brain power by analyzing things. I do not believe you have to analyze. Actually, I do have, I have 2,800 brain power points and there's only 2,080 required. So you definitely do not have to analyze everything to get that. I'm pretty sure I've missed a couple things. Like I think I missed a couple of the crusty roly poly armor pieces. So you do not have to get all the items scanned in order to unlock that part of the brain power. Next up, we're going to go back to the ASL. You're going to want to go over here to the science shop and you're going to want to purchase everything. So you're gonna have to have everything purchased from the science shop. Now you do not get enough raw science from finishing the game normally to be able to do this. So what you're gonna have to do is I would recommend if you haven't already started doing so, do those three daily quests, make sure you get all of them complete. That way you can do them, do them frequently as you're playing through. That way you won't end up having to need thousands of raw science at the end to purchase everything. One other thing with the raw science, you do not actually have to collect all the raw science that's found in the world. There's a couple that I did not collect because they were just kind of in a pain in the butt place to reach. So you do not have to actually collect all of them in order to be able to unlock that requirement. Next up, we're going to take a look at the mixer requirement. So you do have to complete all of the mixers to get the 100% report card. The first mixer is over here in the grasslands. The second one you're likely to do is going to be over here in the hedge. The third one is going to be down here in the haze area. The fourth one is over here in the sandbox. The fifth one is up here in the upper yard next to the barbecue spill. And then the other three, the super mixers do not appear as landmarks for some reason. One of them is, I believe, somewhere around here. It is kind of in the middle of the upper yard. The other one is under, is definitely over here. It is underneath the lawnmower. And then the last one, this is the hardest one. This is over here by, it's just south of the wheelbarrow. So basically there's this little wooden retaining wall here. It's going to be just over here. So you're going to have to complete all those in order to unlock the 100% requirement. And then last but not least, the last three things you're going to have to do, you're going to have to defeat the Broodmother, who is an optional boss. You're going to have to defeat the Mantis, who is also an optional boss. And you're going to have to cure Wendell. You also have to obviously fight the director, as I mentioned earlier, because in order to get the thing that's on the data tab here, which is, where is it? The Burgle Ominent. This data here, this Ominent data disk is actually unlocked by defeating the director. So basically you have to defeat all the bosses because the other bosses, the Mant, the Mant is required to be defeated in order to progress the story. But you're going to have to defeat all the optional bosses in order to get the 100% and get your help, that 100% report card. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head down here just to show you I did get the 100%. We're going to activate the final cutscene. I'm not going to watch the entire cutscene or credits just in case you haven't seen it and also in the interest of time. So once you've done all those things, what you can do is come over here, hit activate. It's going to activate the sequence, which we're going to skip. If you end up not getting everything, you can always just load the previous save, which is right before this, and then you will just go. You can go back in and complete those things. The only thing worth noting is that the orc bugs never go away. So while I was just recording this little video, I had to stop a couple times and kill the orc bugs because they literally never stop coming. But you can just go back in. You can go back in and get any requirements you missed and also just continue playing if that's what you want to do. So let's skip this cutscene real quick and show you the 100% report card. I do encourage you to watch the credits because they are pretty interesting. And like I said, there's two endings. So make sure you see both of those if you haven't already done so. So here we go is our report card. We're going to notice we have this is on medium. The entire was medium solo 183 days. 2,500 creature kills, 20, 200 grass plant, grass harvested, not that much grass harvest. I didn't do that much building. 1,300 perfect blocks, only 11 deaths. And here we go with our 100% report card. So that's how you get the 100% report card. So you can get the super one achievement for grounded. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash the like button. And here's another video you might find helpful as well.